This morning, urgent preparations underway to care for the most vulnerable before Hurricane Ian storms ashore. Hospitals and nursing homes are learning from the past. The time is now. You must evacuate now. 15 hospitals and more than 100 other health care facilities have been evacuated up and down Florida's Gulf Coast. One hospital in the Fort Myers area says its staff came in at 5 o'clock last night to register patients and work through the storm. And they will work throughout the entire storm. Uh, and once landfall has, uh, has uh, passed and the, the roadways are safe, we will bring in our Team B who will come in and relieve uh, those staff members. Nursing homes are moving patients checking generators and ensuring emergency supplies are in place to avoid the devastation that followed Hurricane Irma back in 2017. That's when 12 people died from overheating at a nursing home in Broward County after Irma knocked out electricity, leaving the facility sweltering without AC. It felt like 110, 115 degrees in there. Could you see the suffering? Yes, I, mean I did. Yes, I did. State officials say all nursing homes and assisted living facilities now have backup power generators and fuel meeting state requirements. 100% of operating long-term care facilities do have a generator on site uh, and we're, uh, we're happy about that. And this kind of storm really could bring all of those types of impacts to us. So we're going to be very vigilant, monitor the damages and be ready to uh, evacuate um, in response to that. Evacuating patients is not only tough logistically, it can also be hard on many patients who can suffer transfer trauma, especially those with dementia or Alzheimer's. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.